Uh, so welcome back to the next episode of the Final Fantasy VIII Remastered series. Uh, we had just finished the uh, dual boss battle in the last episode, so we are going to go ahead and commence with uh, trying to get out of here, because when we left off, uh, Sophie had informed Seifer that we had 30 minutes to get to the uh, extraction point. So it's time for the escape from Dalit. Let's go. And of course, there's going to be a random battle before we even get outside. You know, because of course there is. Took that punk down. Oh, that's right. I forgot the uh, um, Biggs and Wedge. They pressed that button, didn't they? That's right. Oh, so we got another boss battle, it looks like, here. Oh, that's a big, nasty-looking robot. It's like a, uh, it's like a metal scorpion, kind of. Which, considering, considering the first battle in Final Fantasy VII is the guard scorpion, I suppose this makes sense. We've got kind of a spider-looking thing. You know what? Because it's a machine, I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder if it's got a weakness to lightning. It, it, it did not just metal bite me. Fucker just literally metal bit me. I call bullshit. I call absolute bullshit here. Oh, well, this is gonna hurt. Oh, damn, nice. A hundred per. Yeah, that's hilarious. Dude lifted his leg and kicked like a frog. Get the hang of this gun blade. Oh, it's down. Oh, yep, we had to escape. Good. Oh, that's why I didn't use the lightning summon. I or uh, uh, GF lightning summon. Wow, the lightning GF. I didn't have it equipped. I didn't have the GF section equipped. Well, uh, it got back up. I thought we already busted that thing up. Forget it. Let's go. Run! Run! Oh, it jumped up onto the, uh, it jumped up from that cliff below. Alright, we need to make quick work of this thing now. So I got the GF now, so let's make some quick work of this. Let's turn this thing into scrap metal. Oh, I mean, I may as well, while I'm waiting for, uh, while I'm waiting for the summon to kick off. I, I, I really should be trying to draw protect right here. You know, this is actually my least favorite 
of all of the uh, Final Fantasy Lightning Summons. It's actually my least favorite. I can only think of three of them off the top of my head. You have uh, this one, you have Rama, uh, Ramu, and then you have uh, Ixion. <clears throat> and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, Ixion from 10. I actually prefer Ixion, personally. The the horse with the, uh, the thunder horn. I prefer that one, personally. Oh. He caught me again. Although, I mean, there really wasn't much they could do with eight, as far as the renders were... I mean, this bird could have been really cool with current-gen you know, current, current gen renders. So, if they were to do, like, a Final Fantasy VII remake type of feel for this game, I imagine that this, this uh, lightning bird would probably look a lot cooler. It would look more like a, a bird rather than a, you know, yellow blob in the shape of a bird. So, yeah, it would probably look a lot better with, uh, if they gave it the remake treatment like they did 7. Let it go. Go, oh, run! Um, hell no. Alright, so I'm going on, uh, going on eight minutes which is weird considering the time of the uh, recording oh there was the uh, there was that fight beforehand okay yeah that's true I may want to think about uh, doing a Final Fantasy X series, or hell, I'm doing the uh, we're doing an actual Twitch stream of Final Fantasy VII remake. So this would be seven, eight. Maybe we'll do. Uh, maybe I'll get the uh, PSX version of nine. Then we can get the the remastered of ten and ten two. Uh, I think they remade eleven, or no, t sorry, twelve Zodiac Age. Um, so I could conceivably do 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, and 12. Um, I won't do thir 13. Even if I had the ability to do 13, I wouldn't do 13 or 13, 2 uh, or Lightning Returns. I hate everything about that series. Everything about that series is absolute trash. Uh, so I apologize for uh, just sitting here, guys. I... Uh, tell you, uh, I, I take this moment to tell you guys I, why I hate 13 so much. Uh, it, it's not necessarily the bad, it's not a bad story, it's really not. Um, it's just, it, I, I, that's when the Final Fantasy games became extremely linear with, with, thir with 13. 13 2 helped a little bit, and then Lightning Returns just went right, I mean, it, everything about the entire 13 series seems to be incredibly linear. Um, really much from start to finish um, and I'm, you're used to playing games that are open you know open world seven eight nine um, ten was kind of a mixture of both linear and 
open world. So you can say it started with 10, um, but no, because I suppose you could say 12 went right back to open world. So, yeah, it happened with 13. And they learned their lesson, though, because once they finished the 13 series, they, they came out with 15, and 15 was so not linear at all, um, which was nice. Of course, 15 dropped the ball in its own, in its own way. Um, that would really upset me, actually, with the, uh, the last act, the third act of the game really upset me with that. Oh, that sounds like we got a cutscene coming. Oh, dude, Squall, you better haul ass, man. Squall, you better go. Yeah, you better go, dude. That thing, that thing is not happy. Oh. Oh, there you get right back up. Squall, you better run faster. It's coming. Oh. Oh, dude. Christ, this is not messing around. Look at that. Oh, dude, look at that 50 cal. Quistus in that 50 said, we don't give two shits about you. Fuck you and your couch. And they made it to the evac point in time. With Quistus waiting on a 50. I love you can see the communication tower up on the ridge. Nice. Nice touch. Her. How'd it go? That's a really a loaded question. Especially when you ask Seeper. He's not going to have anything positive to say. Seriously, like, Seeper's such an asshole. Man, all they did was get in my way. Being a leader ain't easy. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Safe. It's like, of course I'm safe. It's me. <laughs> Good job. Where's Seeper? Squall's like, over there. Just be back at Garden by sundown. Dismissed. Hey, this dude really left him there. What an asshole. Might as well walk it. Yeah, Squall's got the point there. Might as well walk it. Even though Seeper is such a massive jackass for that. So guys, I might as well uh, take this moment while we're running back to garden to uh, make our uh, make our announcements here. Um, so, at some point during this series, um, it'll probably be it'll probably be somewhere around episode twenty, maybe twenty five. Um, we are going to start having um, me up in the bottom corner and my actual reactions to uh, recording these. Um, I have. I have the capture card I need. Um, I have the the camera that I need. I have the backdrop, the uh, the back panel that I need. Um, I just need to figure out how I'm going to set up the room in order to do it because uh, I do all my recording and all my my gaming uh, downstairs in the basement. Um, so I just need to figure out how exactly I want to do it. So. I want to give myself a month or, um, you know, a month or two to get everything down here situated and moved around where I want it. Um, but we're going to start having me uh, up in the corner of the screen um, 
or maybe in the upper rather than the lower right hand corner it'd be the upper right hand corner um, just above where Zell's head is right now um, this way it's not getting in the way of the life bar or not getting in the way of the commands up in the bottom you know in the bottom two corners um, so that's something that we all have to, that we have to look forward to uh, you guys are actually going to get to see me roll my eyes and you know see for you know face palm at some of the shit that Zell does so that's going to be nice Ah, uh, yeah, no summon magic. Uh, lightning and wind magic for an item, I'll take that. Stay on the road. Less random attacks on the road. <sighs> Finally made it back. Seriously. And she's checking her feet. I love it. Well, I guess we just wait for the test results. Till then, see ya, Squall. See ya. I'm gonna have to do something about the music, uh, the music command for this. Because you guys may have noticed in previous video videos, there are five to six blank mute spots in each of these Final Fantasy VIII videos, and it's because of the uh, the the music uh, copyright. And I don't understand how I'm getting these copyrights on some of these. Like it's it's music that's included in the game. Like you figured that would be having the owning the game would be having permission. You would think. Mission complete. I think we did a pretty good job. The candidates are back safely, right? Although we didn't realize the Godbodied Army was after the abandoned communication tower. We've just received word from the Dalit Dukedom. The Godbodied... Oh, I'll buy super quick. Well, in any case, Galvadi is out of there. We could have made more money if we'd stayed, if they'd stayed, and caused more ruckus. Okay, so that message that went by super quick must have been the fact that they were pulling out, probably as long as the communication tower was kept active. That's the only reason they were there. You did pretty well. Of course, he's my best student. Oh, he's the best. He's your best student, is he, Quistus? He's not very social, though. Headmaster laughed. That's that's great. That's the same dialogue again. <clears throat> okay, so where am I supposed to go now? Like, is there supposed to be some kind of message or something, or...? No, I guess not. Maybe upstairs? up here. Okay, well downstairs there, there, the one way out was blocked by those two people, but the other way, I don't think the other way was blocked. Maybe I was supposed to go that way. Yeah, the other way is not blocked. I think I'm supposed to go that way. Ah, Seeper. 
Did you hear about the communication tower in Dalit? We would have been heroes if, we, if it weren't for that withdrawal order. You're only looking for a fight. My dear instructor. I'm hurt. Those are rather cruel words for an aspiring student. A mediocre instructor like you would never understand. Seaver, don't be so stuck on yourself. You'll take all responsibility for leaving the designated area. Isn't it the captain's duty to take the best possible action? Seaver, you'll never be a seed. Calling yourself a captain is a joke. Oh, dude, that has to hurt so bad. And that's not even coming. That's not coming from his teacher. That's coming from an actual seed member. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt so bad. Like there, there was no need to burn him like that in front of other people. So, like, come on, Seaver. You will be disciplined for your irresponsible behavior. You must follow orders exactly during combat. But I'm not entirely without sympathy for you. I don't want you all to become machines. I want you all to be able to think and act for yourselves. I am... Headmaster Sid, you have some business in your office. There are so many issues at hand here. Dude, I don't even want to talk to Seaver. I don't even want to imagine... Ding, 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 ding. All students who participated in today's field exam report to the second floor hallway. Okay. Second floor hallway. That's uh, the same thing I went with when there was nothing there before. Wow, I just, I'm thinking about Seaver like that. Duh. I repeat, all students who took the Seed field exam, please report to the second floor hallway. Yes, I, I see for man. That's that's got it. To train your whole life and to dedicate so much to doing this and to take that exam over and over and you know fail probably because of your own your own insubordination. I, I get that you need to say that eventually, but fuck, that's gotta hurt so bad. That's gotta hurt just so so bad. What's up? Said they're gonna call out names one at a time. Okay. So who made it? Who didn't? Oh, here we go. Dinch. Zell Dinch. Oh, yeah. Uh, see ya. Squall. Squall from Squad B. That is all. Dismissed. Wow. Those three back there in the back didn't make it. I don't think the other two actually took the test. The, the dude with the sash or the chick with the gray hair. I don't think they took the test. They did not just snap in unison. Really? These are the four students that passed today's exam. Ah, Sophie passed. You see her first in line. First of all, congratulations. However, from now on, as a member of SEED, you will be dispatched all over the world. We are proud to introduce SEED, Balam Gardens Mercenary Soldiers. SEED are combat specialists, but that is only one aspect of SEED. When the time comes, Headmaster, it's almost time for the meeting. Please make this short. Seed is a valuable asset to Garden. Its reputation is solely dependent on each one of you. Handle your mission with care. That is what you wanted to say, sir? 
Here is your seed rank report. Yeah, Sid did not seem happy he got cut off at all. I don't blame him. I'd have been, I'd have been annoyed too. I'm looking forward to the garden festival. Do your best, even if you don't stand out. It's true. Try to control your emotions a little. Good advice for Zoe. Finally, a gunblade specialist. This ends the seed inauguration. Uh, inaug I'm not even. I, I can't even. I can't pronounce that word for some reason right now. Inauguration. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't pronounce that word there for a second. What? What? what squall? <laughs> He's like what? Seed. 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 Yo, Squall, let's get back to class. What do you mean, why? Don't you remember what new seed members do? They give a speech in front of the entire class. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that Squall's gonna do that. Oh, dude, Seeper's right there. Oh, Zell's expecting a fight. Oh, wow, Seeper gave them a standing ovation. Wow, that, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. From Seifer, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, so this is our seed report. Conduct, 60 points, over half, good. Judgment, perfect score, good. Attack, I did not have a good attack record, wow. Spirit, 50, okay, half, good. Attitude, 80, good. Rank 7, alright, I'll handle rank 7, that sounds, uh, I don't know how many you could have had total, um, I imagine probably to break 10 would be the highest you could go. So. Maybe two points per for all five. As a seed member, you will be paid a salary at regular intervals. The salary is determined by seed rank. Okay. Ha! Found you. Well, well, what do you think? My seed uniform. You should get changed too. Uh, they have to get to a party. Okay. So I'll go ahead and get him changed, and then we'll go ahead and call this an episode for this episode. Uh, this is we'll call this the uh, the Dalit escape, uh, or the escape from Dalit. There we go. Um, and then we'll be back for the party and the corresponding event in the next episode. So I will see you guys soon. You guys have a good evening. This is the Fanged One signing off. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.